A little bit of news coming out of Anaheim for the Giants. Elliot Ramos has been recalled from AAA Sacramento. Let's go. We're getting word that he's not in the starting lineup tonight. AJ Pollock has been placed on the 10 day IL with a left oblique strain. Mm-hmm. So, uh, AJ Pollock, the AJ Pollock era for now has come to a not a dramatic uh, conclusion. So, AJ Pollock will go to the IL for 10 days. Elliot Ramos added to the club, so add another one of these futures guys, He's another one hot. of these youngsters. He's been hot down in the minors, yeah. But he hasn't done it up here with the big club, not yet, right? But he will. You're high on Elliot Ramos. I can see it in your face. Well, you love well, I, I'm I'm high on. And look, this is no disrespect to AJ Pollock, but like I said, you can disrespect AJ Pollock. Well, if you, you know want. what I was going to say, Dibs, is a lot of people. You know, when everything came out, the quarterback. Netflix came out. Everyone, wow, seeing Kirk Cousins in a different light. People just forget that these guys are human. So when I see AJ Pollock talk after the game, he really looked, you know, he looked, really looked sad. He looked sad that he got this injury. No, he's not trying to, you know, play soccer out there with the baseball and completely miss it. And then when you hear him talking, all right, he's a, we, we forget sometimes, all right, man, we, we know you weren't trying to do that. Yeah, it still stinks, but we get all that. Yeah. So, but with that being said, Elliot Ramos is a guy who, look, he got pulled up last year. And Giants, it felt like they were in a different mindset last year where Elliot Ramos, I don't know if you remember, Dibs, of course you do, that Elliot Ramos was only playing against lefties, right? He didn't really play against righties. So I, I, I'm i curious to see if that will still continue. But the fact that he's coming up, I'm of the mindset that I don't think the Giants have enough to win the World Series. So why not get these? This is what we were all not maybe not we, but I know me and a lot of other Giants fans were banging the table about, hey, get these guys up here and let's get some reps. Give us something to be excited about. I want to go to the ballpark and no offense, I want to see other jerseys than Brandon Crawford. That's the last jersey that we've seen left. And maybe Logan Webb now and you see some Jock Petersons because he's a Bay boy and we sure. love Jock, but that's it. I want to go to the ballpark and, and I don't want to, and I'm not talking about throwbacks. I don't want to see Lincecum anymore. I don't want to see Posey anymore. Right. We'll always see them, but I want to see some new ones. And that starts, I'll guarantee you this much, Dibs. You go to the ballpark next year with your with your daughter, and you know, by that point, you might be eating nachos or whatever the case is. You got to get some gear. She has two teeth. So well, we're, we're maybe, I'm saying next year. I'm going to say next yeah. year. Okay, well, some ice cream. She's cheese only right now on cheese the nachos. Cheese only, right? So, so some ice cream, <laughs> and I guarantee you, you go to the game, and you're going to see some Patrick Bailey jerseys. Sure. And that's a start. And I'll take that start. That's what we're looking for. So that's why I'm excited with Elliot Ramos. I have no clue what he's going to do, right? but we're going to find out. Well, the uh, baseball card, the back of it would tell you that he's not going to do a lot. He's batting 192 this year All right. in the majors. He's 5 for 26, an OPS of 491. Mm-hmm. So to me, you are replacing a guy who hasn't gotten a hit as a giant, A.J. Pollock, with a young player who has really not yet shown that he can handle big league pitching and life in the bigs. Casey Schmidt, he flashed early, and then he regressed to the mean, and then he really, really fell off. Brett Wisely came up and didn't do much at all. Marco Luciano has been okay in his short time up here. Luis Matos looks comfortable. Yes. Patrick Bailey looks like he belongs. Yes. Elliot Ramos, to me, does not look like he belongs just yet. Mm -hmm. So this, to me... It's a move, yes, and you know Luke is pointing out that he's not in the starting lineup uh, tonight, and the, the game starts in about three hours, so maybe he'll be available to pinch hit. He most likely will be, but you're adding more young players to the roster, and you're not going to play him, and it's an offense that's desperate for an infusion of something. Well, the, the, the trade deadline is passed, so what else are you going to do at this point? Nothing. There, there's nothing else you can do. No, and that's why I look back at the trade deadline and still think that they could have and probably should have done more, but they felt like by standing pat, they had enough faith in what they already have to where they can make the playoffs, and then who knows. Yeah, and it's a good good thing you bring up dibs because NBC Sports Bay Area, they just put out an article about the Giants and their interest in Otani, and in that article – they spoke about last year and Juan Soto and how Juan Soto was somebody that the Giants did want. They ultimately got outbid by the Padres. And Lucas helped me with who wrote the article, put it in my ear. And what they were saying is that if Luis Matos had had the breakout season that he had this year, Pavlovich wrote it. And if Matos had had this, the season that he had 
this year, last year, Giants might have been able to get Soto, but because he hadn't broken out yet, right, they didn't have enough. And the Padres ultimately were able to get Soto. So now going into this year with the amount of rookies and prospects that the Giants are pulling up, I don't necessarily know what it means because you might be messing up some of their value. Somebody who's killing it like Luis right. Matos was in AAA, that value, what looks better? I mean, that value or just looking comfortable yeah. in the big leagues? I don't know. Well, the hope of a player in AAA where he's tearing it up, you can at least sell that as, hey, this guy's tearing it up in AAA. Mm -hmm. He's going to be great when he comes up to the bigs. And when he comes up to the bigs, and Luis Matos has been fine. Right. He's been better than average. He, he's gotten hits in the majority of his games. A lot of one-for-fours, but he's shown a great ability in center field, and he's shown a capability at the bat. You mentioned Shohei Otani, and Kruk and Kipe weighed in pregame yesterday on just how the Giants can be players in the Otani sweepstakes. Mm. I think you send him roses and rub his feet. Yeah, and it works, be, at, it works at my house. Yeah, and, and be professionals. You know, don't do stupid things on the field. Don't do somersaults when you hit a home run. Uh, act like you've done it before, and I think he notices those things. He, he's a humble player, and and I love that about his game. He respects this game, and I think as an organization, you you gotta you gotta play it that way. But I mean, I I think the city itself has everything to do with where he wants to go. It's gonna be a very interesting story in the offseason. But flowers and rub his feet, candy. Is that your go-to, uh, Stiles, when you're trying to curry favor uh, on the home front? Oh, yeah. Flowers oh, yeah. and a foot rub? I go back rub, but same idea. Yeah. C can, can I say something, though? Talk to me, Alan. I'm just hearing that cut. I gotta be honest. That's from uh, NBC Sports Bay Area, Krug and Kipe, of course, the legends. They're legends, but that bothered me. Wow. That bothered me a little bit. What bothered you about that cut? The, the, the cartwheels thing. Because, number one... That's completely unnecessary to me because the Giants don't do any of that. Right? Well, and it's, the it's, Angels actually do with the uh, right. the headwear. And Shohei seems with to love hats. it. So, I mean, yeah. I don't get why that was necessary to say because it's a team who doesn't do it unless they're saying that, unless they're trying to say that the Giants are in a better position already because they don't do it. And just this whole idea, I don't know. And I love Kruk and Kipe. And look, that, that, th those are the last two that I would ever try to pick a fight against because I know I'm going to lose it in the Bay Area, but that's just kind of a unnecessary statement to me. I mean, look, if you're, we don't know what Shohei likes. Let's be completely honest. So the idea that Shohei is humble and doesn't like bat flips or quote unquote cartwheels, we don't know that. We don't know that. Nobody knows. Just right. because he doesn't do it doesn't mean he has a problem with it. Might mean he likes it. The Giants, they were still doing the dab. They still do the dab. Move on. Right? Is there a pro does Shohei not like the dab? The, the Angels do do a lot. And it's about having fun. So, I don't know. That irked me. That, okay. that, that irked me. I, I'm glad you uh, you put your name on that because I, I think that they it's were... Just unnecessary. Right. I think that their message was do whatever it takes to... Besides celebrate home runs. And, I, and that's kind fun. of... There are a couple of old school guys. And I get Even it. more old school than I am. They're both a little bit older than even I am. And so, mm -hmm. I think that that's a sensibility that goes to when they played... In the bigs, and they both played in the the late seventies and the yeah. mid to late eighties, and so at the time it was you know keep your head down and do your job and don't show up the opponent and respect the game and all that. But here we are, forty some odd years later, and that's not the same ethos that we see. So I, I wouldn't, I, I'd ask you to not hold that against them too strongly. But we don't even know if Shohei, what, wh how do they know that Shohei doesn't like that? And that's a fair point. Maybe Shohei wants to be on a team. Like the Padres, where it's Machado and we Tatis no Jr. and you know these guys showing out and popping the collar and and all the rest of that nonsense. So, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we really don't know. Yeah, just Kruk and Kipe weighing in on uh, the Shohei Otani recruitment, and again tonight Otani on the mound against the Giants, and uh, the news has come out: Elliot Ramos recalled, AJ Pollock put on the injured list, so the Giants getting younger. Ramos not expected to be in the starting lineup, but we'll keep an eye on who is in the lineup when that comes out. I would imagine a lefty-heavy lineup going up against the right-hand throwing Shohei Otani.